Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So we got Jeff Streaklight in. He went with the Hertz Neos because the drop-in fit. It's our favorite no mod speaker to be installed in the Streaklight and Rogue Glide. It's 100% weatherproof. But um, when you want a little better performance, you have to mod the pods. The Hertz is great because it's got the factory connectors that fit. Even though the orientation is backwards, you could still plug into the factory connectors. You don't have to modify. It even has the notch cut out. So it's literally a drop-in fit. But now just ready for a little bit better performance. So we have to upgrade. The problem is all the speakers that outperform the Hertz are a lot bigger. So we have the Ground Zero Yellow Basket Coax. Huge size difference. Bama G40, even though it's a Neo Magnet, just like the Hertz, look at the size difference in that. DB Drive, Moto CD, huge magnet. And then you have the tweeter cup on the back. So obviously these are not drop-in fit speakers. So we're gonna be upgrading from the Hertz Neo to the Ground Zero. It doesn't fit, so you have to modify the inside of the pods. The only thing you need to modify it is a grinder. And this is the issue here. The speaker hits here and hits here. So all you have to do is sand away a little bit. Takes about five minutes per pod. And then the speaker drops in. So now just modifying here, the DB drive fits. The ground zero has a larger flange. So you have to modify the edge too. I have Chris working on this one. I purposely didn't let him modify this part so you could see that the DB drive fits just modifying the inside. But in order to get the ground zero to fit, you have to open up the ring just a little bit. There's also a tab here that has to be ground flat so the speaker can sit flush. So now, if you're doing the DB drive, it's all you have to do. Speaker sits in completely flush. Bama fits. Just have to grind one of the ears to get it to sit flush. Euphoria Carbon. This part sits fine, but the magnet's a little deeper. So you have to take off a little more material on the inside. Let's grind this a little bit more so we can get that one to fit. Now, the speaker that requires the most modification is the Bama Pro 6 CFMD. That one comes nowhere near fitting, even after modifying the pod. So you have to enlarge the opening about an eighth of an inch here. You're definitely going to require a Dremel to do that. And you have to take this all the way down to the back to get it to fit. So we're not going to modify his pod to fit this, considering that's not the speaker he's running. But we're going to take off a little bit more so the euphoria carbon will drop in. So we need about an eighth of an inch more that will drop in. See that? We got a perfect fit now. And that's it, it's all it takes.